Okay, this is just a short video showing how to download your Literati CSV file and then make a few modifications to it using Python. Then we'll take that data and we'll display it in a few applications. So you start out by uh, downloading the CSV file from your dashboard. And we'll go to Reports. I'm not going to fill anything in because I want all my records. download the CSV file. So I'm just going to move it into my working directory. There we go. And now we'll move over to Python. So the first line you need to do is, the first thing is to import the CSV module, so you can read that file. Uh, next we're going to open an output file that we're going to create, and in the first line that we're going to write to it are the headers that you want to bring across. So I'm going to bring over litter ID, latitude, longitude, object, material, and brand. Um, so next we open the file we downloaded and we're going to loop through line by line using a for statement um, and the tags and chords field are going to have to be split if we look at the way it's delivered lat long is delivered in a single string as well as the tag. So we're simply splitting the tags on the commas and the coordinates split are split with the slash. And then we will write each one as a new line and then close the file. So I'll just give this a run here. Alright, now suppose you don't want to export all of your records, you can filter down using an if statement. Um, let's uncomment that. So in this example, let's only export uh, if it has a syringe in the tag. We'll indent that like that, and let's call this one this output file, syringe, there. Let's run that one. There. Didn't find very many. And we have a new file. There. Okay, next we're going to look at this data in Google Earth. Okay, now we've got uh, Google Earth open and we're going to want to import the new file. So, just browse to that new CSV file you created, open, and it's going to take us through a wizard. Uh, so our data is delimited and it's going to use commas. And everything else here looks good onto the next page. It's found a latitude field and longitude field, so that's good. And next, you just want to um, specify that the latitude and longitude are floating point. The rest are good. And do you want to apply style template? Sure. Create a new template. There we 
we go. Now all our points are available in Google Earth. If you want to do some advanced analysis of your data or make some cartographic maps, I'd recommend trying out QGIS. It's a free open source software. It has scripting ability with Python and a number of GIS overlay tools available. Uh, so first off, you could add some background imagery. And uh, there's Google videos that are available to show you how to do this to get it set up. I'll just zoom into my area. And next, we will import the CSV file. So we choose a uh, data source manager. And we've got uh, delimited text format. So we'll browse to our file. This is the one we created earlier. Text at CSV. Uh, it's found the longitude and latitude fields that we created in Python. Uh, it's choosing the WGS84 projection, which is good, and it gives us a preview of the f of the file. So it all looks good. We've got our object material brand. So we'll add that in. We can uh, zoom to the layer, and we can see all our points here. Uh, next, we might want to symbolize that. So I double click, and rather than symbol, single symbol, we can choose from a variety here. And I'll just choose categorized. And we will color based on the object. Classify, and it gives us all the possible values that it's found in our data. Um, another thing we can do here is uh, combine some fields if we've got some poor data. Uh, coffee cup lid and coffee lid are the same, so let's merge those into one color. Uh, there's another one, for example. There. So now we're seeing all our items colored differently. Let's just zoom in here. And you can expand them and see them in the legend here as well. Um, there's a lot. You could double click on the individual icons and change them as well. Uh, maybe we want these to pop out more. Choose that. Um, and then there's any number of layers that you could add in, whatever you can find on the internet. Um, I've got some for my area. I'll just browse to those. Some vector line work. I'll add in this. Well, first of all, we can show you all the different formats that it accepts. Uh, we'll just choose shapefile. And these are the three layers I want to bring in. Add, okay, and close. You want to make sure they're sitting above the imagery, otherwise they'll be hidden. So our hydrology lines, let's make those blue. Um, polygons. They can be blue and we'll make them somewhat transparent. And my planned cleanup lines. Let's make them red and a bit thicker. There we go.
Let's go with that one. There. So that's an area I want to look at in the future. So there you go. From here you can uh, create a layout and print this map after you added everything you wanted and got it all looking the way you want. And that's about all I wanted to show you here.